Hey there guys, today we're going to see if we can get the monophonic bass synthesizer by Boss to work with our chords by using a OC5, which takes your chords and adds a bass note to them. Alright. So, theoretically, this should be possible. Okay, it works. And um, that means you can add your drums and bass and turn it into something super cool. It's really cool. Um, so I'm only feeding the octaves, sub-octave, into the bass synthesizer. Going around it to my tube screamer is obviously the original guitar signal, so that's why I still have... All right, let me turn off my drums, pardon me. And then I just um, have an octave like I would normally. Feed that, the octave only, into the bass synthesizer and and yeah so um now i just actually want to maybe show you some of the cool settings you can use maybe i'll add in some drums for context um obviously uh you can just ask your drummer to do what you want them to do um or if you're a drummer you can record your own so one thing i've noticed is that not every single setting on the side 5 has a lot of bass. Okay, some of them, yeah, and it's not to do with the tone knob, um, or in this case it's called the frequency knob. Um, they just don't all have a lot of bass, and this thing basically uses samples. Um, that's why it's monophonic, I guess. Although there is a polyphonic mode, which we can also look at. In fact, let's look at that one first. <laughs> okay, this one's pretty good, I guess, for like um, dubstep or something like that. So I can show you maybe some dubstep beats with that as well. But yeah. <laughs> there are still glitches, it's not perfect. Okay, let's see how that sounds with a little bit of... I don't think this will be as good, but it is still a polyphonic mode, technically. But we're going to still feed it just the single octave down from the OC5, not the guitar's dry signal. Let's get rid of those drums. <laughs> okay, not perfect tracking, but that's probably because I stuffed up that chord, isn't it? It seems to work pretty well. Obviously, you could play normal things. But then you might as well have just fed it an ordinary guitar signal or an ordinary octava. Okay, we're trying to see if chords are as useful as they normally would be. Okay, um, let's try some other settings. And uh, yeah, let's add a little bit more frequency. I am running this into an Empress compressor. Otherwise, some of these things would cause like my speakers to explode. Um, so yeah, let's dial that back a bit, actually. You know what? Um, it'd be nice to blend in a little bit of the OC5, just so you know what that's like. So the OC5, that's full volume for the OC5, or uh, equal volume. That gives it a bit of a boost, so let's bring it to 100%. Um, and yeah. It's actually being drowned out. So OC5 at half volume with, um, you know, the bass synthesizer at a normal level. 
Okay, we like that. So um, this one is a octave down from the bass synthesizer, so at that level it's just like muddy bass, two octaves down, you know, on E. So let's play a little higher up the neck. Um, Okay, it sounds great on the A string. And then this one is quite funky. Obviously no one can twiddle this knob while they're playing, um, so let's be realistic about this. Um, yeah. Drop the dry signal a bit so it doesn't distract us too much. But bring in those chords. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, and um, this one sounds like it would do some mad oscillating drum and bass pretty well. Okay, in fact, let's get rid of the dry signal. Again, I'm still going to play chords though. I'm going to get rid of the drums. Hopefully you can still hear a bit of the bleed from the guitar and you know it's still playing chords. <laughs> Alright, it's really cool. Okay, let's drop that rate a bit. back a bit, all right. <laughs> all right, I love this thing. Um, this will be a new type of octave sound. Okay, is that your square wave or something like that? I think so. <laughs> okay, so when I do just do single note runs, because the OC5 is obviously feeding at this. And then it'll take that. And then when I do eventually play a bass note, and then a treble note at the same time, it's ignoring that treble note. That's what the OC5 is good for. And that's what this demo is about, really. Okay, <laughs> this is not a tone demonstration, that's for sure. Unless these are some cool tones you'd actually appreciate. All right, octave down again, so we gotta play something high. Let's bring that guitar back up. for playing higher up the neck, of course, and then we're back to... Okay. It handles really well. This thing handles really well. Okay. Um, seven. Another cool bass note. I haven't shown you too much to do with it the frequency knob, but it doesn't really, it just changes obviously how raspy it is. Without it, it's kind of like just having the OC5 with a, a sample attached and um, a bit more raunchy. Okay, but I do want to emphasize that just for now. see what else we got. If this is open all the way, then I mean, that's perfect to, you know, do some, I don't know, maybe you could do some like pendulum or something. Okay, 
Okay, that wasn't painful. <laughs> that was like, I don't know what. Um, well, they do drum and bass anyway, hey. Not glitch hop like the gl glitch mob. Okay, another synth. This one talks a bit, so that's nice. clearly works, but if I'm not playing the root note, it goes haywire, <laughs> because it, 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 this is a low, low, low note priority mode. If you take it out of low note priority, um, it will still work, but it might, get, it might confuse this monophonic pedal. And together... Okay, it's not getting too confused. Maybe let's take it all the way. Okay, it's only when I start like... Because now I'm actually feeding it polyphonic octaves that are sub-octaves. Not too bad, but if you play a chord... See, it doesn't quite like it. Okay, so back to low note priority mode. Great, okay, let's try some other sounds. Cool. Cool, <laughs> okay. Um... back. And maybe make it a little faster. That's brilliant. That's awesome. Okay, and then we're back to polyphonic mode. All right, so yeah, yeah, I think I've shown you pretty much everything I wanted to show you. Um, we could try it with some other genres perhaps, but um, I think most of these are not going to be to everyone's tastes. But um, let's see, I think this could be fun. does work. It does indeed work. Can I, can I leave us off on a low note? How about we do something that you probably would never ever do with this? I mean, you will now, because you'll hear how cool it is. Can we do some like French call or something? <laughs> Alright, and a bit of distortion. <laughs> All right.
there's probably no way in hell you're going to be making French core <laughs> with this, but at least you know it's possible. All right, and um, yeah, I mean, you don't always have to use drum and bass, of course, David Greenham. You could just enjoy yourselves with some music that's normal. I mean, but then now it's kind of defeating the purpose, isn't it? Because this is so... This is like such techno. You know, I mean, what if it was, what if it was a sort of... It does work, but yeah. I'm not sure if the acoustic sounds really suit such a digitized waveform, but yeah, I like it either way. Okay. All right, everyone. I think you have it. Um, I think you've heard it all. <laughs> Thanks to this combo. I think it's great. You can actually do some chords. You know what? You could use a polyphonic synthesizer as well. And I would like to do a demo where I add a Psi 1 to the OC5. But um, now you know that maybe your monophonic pedals could work pretty well with the OC5. I have tried some other combinations. I found that the um, let's say uh, the Electro Harmonics Synth 9, that really didn't play well with the OC5 in low note priority mode. I'm not surprised because, well, it's used to being fed a guitar signal, not a weird octave down. Um, but yeah, these are all experiments that we have to try out, otherwise we'll never know what else is possible. Um, yeah, this one's wicked. I might even get the mono EHX synth pedal because it would perhaps work really well with this OC5. Um, but um, until then, uh, you can enjoy <laughs> making your own crazy experiments after this one. So uh, thanks so much for joining me. I uh, really hope you learned something, or maybe you just are inspired to try something crazy and new, which is basically what I'm doing now in the middle of the night while my newborn is sleeping. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm using headphones. I'm relatively thoughtful. Okay, anyone, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.